welcome back. We're back to the same place here that we started on this straight and narrow. And let me just share again, kind of for a little bit of review. Um, when I was hiking, and it's actually the other side of this trail, it's probably, I don't know, probably half a mile that way as the crow flies, but, um, and literally just, I was, there's one place up there where it's not really part of the trail, but you can walk up in there and it, it's very straight and it's very narrow and there's a really cool view of the falls. And um, while I was walking it, that straight and narrow thing just dropped in my head, dropped in my heart. And as I think I shared before, I just it brought to mind what Jesus said about the straight and narrow. Um, and we're going to look at that later on in this vlog. We're going to end up, um, probably end up there to some degree. But as I've been studying this and just, you know, I, I literally, when I start these things, I don't, I know what prompted me to start, but I don't always know how we're going to get where we go and all of that. But here's what I want to um, help you, uh, help, I want to communicate about this straight and narrow, okay? Is I now see it as two different, two individual words. Something that's straight, like this path right behind me. So take the two words, straight and narrow, and I want you to think about them separately. Think about straightening something out. Um, and I'm actually going to look at a couple verses in Proverbs chapter 3. If you haven't read Proverbs chapter 3, because we're probably going to spend the next few vlogs in Proverbs chapter 3, there's there's gold in that there chapter. <laughs> And I kid you not, I mean, I was reading it this morning and just, I feel like Indiana Jones finding a pot full of gold, only it's worth way more than gold. So, um, <clears throat> anyways, but let me get to the, to the, back to straight. Um, Proverbs 3, <sighs> fumbles, 5 and 6 says... Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your paths straight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your paths straight. Now the first part of that verse is a is a lifelong journey um, one of the things that has really God has really opened up in my understanding is how faith is an ongoing thing um, and what I mean is we're saved by faith we're saved we're basically saved when God brings us to the place to see who he is but also to see our need of who he is. So he's the author, remember, and the finisher. So he started it and he's going to carry it on to completion. And so faith, faith, ultimately faith should affect every area of our life. And I mean every area. And that's a new, that's a huge revelation for me. Because I had never thought about faith affecting how I handle money, affecting my marriage, affecting um, how you relate to people, how you see yourself. I mean, ultimately, it should affect every area of your life. And so, when that scripture says, trust the Lord with all your heart, um... The question I want you to think about now is what area in your heart do you know right now that you're not trusting God? 
And this is actually very easy to to figure out, okay? Um, and one of the ways you can figure this out is where where are you stressed out? What has you stressed out? Okay? Fear, anxiety, worry, all that stuff which we all have, we all deal with is a sure sign that you're that you're not trusting God in that area of your heart. So whatever that may be for you, I want you to I want you to think about that as we go through this. So um, trust the Lord with all your heart. And that's a daily thing. And and listen, if you're anything like me and and what I just said hit you hard and you realize, oh my goodness, I don't trust God with there's a whole lot of things I don't trust God in, okay? Don't beat yourself up. Just ask God for the one. What is the one area he's trying to deal with and wants you to learn to trust him, whatever that may be. Because um, sometimes we can, we can beat ourselves up and we can just do a whole lot of stuff that just isn't productive. God knows where we're at. He's very patient. He's very merciful. But he does want us to trust him. And he and he deals with one area at a time in our lives. So that's but that's important that we recognize that as a journey. I mean, you see this road right here? Think of this path that you can see as you doing life. You're just doing life, okay? God wants us to learn to trust Him, and that's an ongoing thing. Um, lean not on your own understanding. Now, this is one that is tough for most of us, because we want to, you know, we want to understand stuff. We want to know why is COVID happened. We want to know why did this happen and why did that happen. And I have found. I have found in my walk with God that sometimes God does answer our questions, sometimes. But sometimes He doesn't. Okay? And here's the trap that I've found. Here's the trap that I've found. If we cop an attitude when He doesn't answer our questions, then we get stuck. We get stuck. Okay? God is not obligated to answer all your questions. And and really what we get like is we get like a little kid who wants something and you as a parent know that you can't give that child that thing yet. And you know, we throw our little temper tantrums and we get stuck. And we and we ultimately we really hurry, hurt ourselves. And this is where this is where trust and understanding do not have to match. This is where being childlike, there's a huge difference between being childlike and childish. Huge difference between childlike and childish. To be childlike is to just trust God. And here's the beauty, if we do that, if we will say, okay, God, I don't, I, there's a lot of these things I don't understand. I'm just going to trust you anyways. If we will intentionally make that choice in whatever area God is trying to deal with you, I have found that as you walk with him, that you ever heard the statement, uh, hindsight is 2020. When you walk it and you, you're able to look back, you see, oh, Okay, God, now I understand. You won't always understand while you're in it or going through it. But if you just, if you trust him and you just keep, you know, just follow his leading as best you know how and just trust him. Say, okay, God, I don't, I don't, I don't, you, I don't even like what's going on. But you can trust him. And listen, what I'm describing to you is really kind of the last six years of my life. I mean, um, there have been so many different situations where 
I just, I, I did not want to deal with the stuff I was dealing with. I didn't. I mean, from, I just, I can't get into all the situations, but one situation was my job. I, I, I hated my job. I got so I hated my job. And, but, but now looking back and the stuff that I dealt with, looking back, now I can see how God, God did something in my heart that really need, he need, really needed to do. And I was able to trust God in the middle of a situation that I didn't want to be in. And then COVID hit and I lost my job anyway. So, so we, we've got to make those tough choices, you know, because um, you will be in situations where God will allow things and you will not understand why he's allowing it. And if you get stuck, and it's not hard to do, listen, I get it, I understand it. It's not hard, because we want to understand everything, but this verse specifically commands us, trust, don't lean on your own understanding. Because, listen, God knows stuff that we don't know. He's God. And so, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. What does that mean? In all your ways, acknowledge Him. It's an interesting phrase, and I've tried to study it out, and it's, it's a different, different translation say it differently. And again, I encourage you, if you haven't read Proverbs 3, I would encourage you to read it a lot, because we're going to hit it again in this, in this, this straight and narrow series we're doing here um but in all your ways acknowledge him um in essence what really what really stood out to me is oftentimes and we i don't even know that we do this consciously but we have god kind of compartmentalized in our life um and sometimes we even think, well, you know, I go to church and that's my time for God and all that kind of thing. And I hope that's not your attitude. I really do, because that is not the way God intended life to be. Okay, God intended to walk with us, for us to walk with Him. He intended us to be in close relationship daily. Day the old song, daily walking close to Thee. So, um, and <clears throat> I don't want to get off track here, but so the acknowledging God, here's, here's how I would say it. Here's a part of how I now see this is now I'm married. Okay. So if you're not married, this may not directly apply to you, but I would do nothing. I would do, I would do nothing major without talking to my wife about it. Okay. Um, I mean, I got married because I wanted to do life with someone because I loved her. We want to do life together. Now, that, you know, that doesn't mean we don't, we aren't individuals because we are individuals. We're very much individuals. But um, we're married. We're in a close relationship. I don't do major stuff. I don't do stuff without talking to her about it because she's my wife. Now, listen, that same principle applies with God. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And you may find that difficult. There may be some areas of your life you don't want to acknowledge God in it. You don't even think he wants anything to do with it. But trust me when I tell you, he does. Psalm 37, 23, I believe it is. I had a cheat sheet, but I... I printed it and then I didn't bring it. But I remember this verse because this is an amazing verse to me. I'm pretty sure it's 27, uh, Psalm 37, I'm sorry, Psalm 37, 23. And the last part of the verse, it says this. He cares about every detail of their lives. That's what it says in the New Living Translation. He cares about every detail of of their lives talking about his children and that's God I'm telling you that verse has really been messing with me lately every detail 
God cares about all the details of my life. Listen, it's in scripture. He, 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 he numbers the hair on our heads. And most of you know, I don't have much hair on my head. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of shaggy now because it's winter and I'm... What, why? Why would God even care about how many hairs are on my head? Okay. He cares about every detail of our lives. Every detail. In all your ways acknowledge Him. And here's the promise, and this is what I wanted to get to, is He will make your paths straight. Would you like God to straighten some things out in your life or in your future or in your relationship with somebody? Trust Him. Don't lean on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him. I've said this many times. I'm going to say it many times more. You can't inform God about anything. It is not possible to bring something to God that He did not already know. Now, I know we know that in our heads. But I'm reminding you of it today. You, you can't inform God about anything. He's, he knows all. And He loves us. And He's for us. And He's with us. So listen, uh, and this is timely. It's, it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> Almost dusk on New Year's Eve of 2020 and aren't we glad 2020 is over I want I want clear direction for 2021 clear direction I want the direction to be as clear and straight as this path right behind me that's the promise man that is the promise trust him with all your heart so wherever you're having a hard time trusting him make a decision to trust him and find the scriptures that you need to, to, to get into your heart because that's how we, tr we we trust God by by Jesus said you know um, if you hold to what I taught now that hold is a by faith in my heart I hold by faith in my heart so the Bible doesn't do no good on your shelf you need to get the truth of it in your heart trust him so where do you need to do that don't lean on your own understanding. If you've got to figure everything out, you're going to have a really hard time because you're never going to figure everything out. But God can, can give you peace and direction if, you'll, if you will say, Okay, Lord, help me. Help me to, to not have to understand everything because you're not going to anyways. Trust Him with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Bring Him into every area of your life when you may say well he knows it anyways God is a gentleman he's a perfect gentleman he wants relationship he's not gonna barge in to areas of your life now I know he's in us if you're a Christian he's in you but he wants the run of the house if you know what I mean and God can be allowed in the living room but not allowed in the bedroom or whatever other room so in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. So I pray that helps somebody on this Christmas Eve or this New Year's Eve 2020. Um, God bless you. We'll see, we see you next time and, and I encourage you to uh, spend some time in Proverbs chapter 3 because we're going to be in there again. So have a great night. Happy New Year. I hope you have a good night and a good weekend. So I just want to add here real quick. If you've ever seen the movie The Hobbit, um, during their journey, they have to go through a forest called Mirkwood, and there's a trail on through Mirkwood, and Gandalf says to them, Stay on the path. Don't get off the path. And so I want to throw this, this is um, Proverbs 3, 6 in the New Living Translation. It says, seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. So trust him. Don't lean on your own understanding. 
in all your ways acknowledge him and he'll keep you on the path that he wants you to be on so there's just a little extra for you